Hello students. Okay, this is the second video in the uh, video series on early algebra. And in this video, we're going to just look at some algebraic conventions, in particular, how we show multiplying and dividing using algebra. Okay, so let's just have a quick look through this screen just here. So convention, of course, just means um, something that everyone agrees to. So in this case, we're saying um, you don't have to do it this way, but this is generally agreed that this is a good way to write um, algebraic expressions and algebraic equations. So to start with, if we want to multiply five times the variable B, often we don't like to write the multiply sign because it looks a little bit too much like the letter X. So a student might think this is five XB rather than five times B. So we write that without the multiply sign. We write it just as five B and there's an implied multiply in there. Similarly, a times d times f, we don't write the multiply signs and we just write it as a d f. And, but you have to realize the convention is, that means a multiplied by d multiplied by f. With division, um, we tend not to use the divide sign in algebra. We prefer to write um, the fraction bar instead. So 3a divide b, is best written as 3a over b as, as a fraction. Okay, if we're going to multiply um, a variable by itself, like c times c, we generally tend to prefer to use index um, indices. So rather than writing cc or c times c, we write it as c squared. If we had c times c times c, we'd write it as 3 to the power of 3 and so on. If we're multiplying a variable times a number, the convention is to write the number first and the variable second. So again, we don't write the multiply sign. We don't write what looks like the letter X. We just write 4A. So you could write A4, and I'd understand what you mean, but the convention is to write the number before the letter. And finally, if you're multiplying a number of variables together, we tend to write them in alpha. Oops, we tend to write them in alphabetical order. So y times z times x, we rewrite that as just x y z. Once again, without the multiply signs. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Rewrite the following algebraic. Sorry, rewrite the following using algebraic conventions. Well, we've got a t times an m times a six times an m. So the convention is we write the number first. We don't write the multiply signs. Um, we write the variables in alphabetical order. <clears throat> so I've got m times m. Well, m times m can be written as m squared or m to the power of two times t. And because I can put brackets around that, we can actually write all of that divided by five. So that entire expression is divided by five, not just the m. You could write it with just the final m divided by 5, and that's not incorrect, but this is uh, the convention for writing that. Okay, why don't you have a go at doing these six um, questions? So in every case, see if you can use the algebraic conventions to rewrite these. Again, don't use any division signs, no multiplication signs, and if you have brackets, write it without the brackets. Okay, away you go. Okay, welcome back students. Let's go through the solutions to this. So first, x divided by six, we don't write the divide sign. We write the write it as a fraction. Um, this one here, six times a is written as just six a. And the whole thing, because all of that's divided by 11, it's all over 11. Um, this one here, it's 21 is divided by all of that. So we have 21 fraction bar in 12 times V. We just write as 12 V. Okay, we've got to use our order of operations on this one. We've got two terms. So we can basically simplify or rewrite each of those. So C times U divide five just becomes cu over five. And then we have to write the plus sign and then nine times y 
is just 9y. Okay, once again, because we got a subtraction, we've got two terms. The first one is just 8 over x. We don't write the divide sign. Then we write the subtraction, and we have u divide 6. And the last one, once again, we have two terms. So the first one is v times z is just vz divide 6. And the second term, subtract 8 divide f s and there's a short little video on some of the uh, algebraic conventions okay stop there and uh, the next video i think the next video might be on like terms that one wasn't as i said before